since coming to GS1 now a year and a half ago, uh, I've, I've grown to appreciate how such a simple concept has really changed the world. Uh, up to now, it changed the supply chain world, but as we'll talk about, uh, going beyond that to the right to the consumer and the demand chain. So, unique identification now is finding its way into to, uh, the world of digital. And interestingly enough, it wasn't GS1 that drove it there. It was the digital players themselves who have found a real value in the use of the GS1 identifiers to help them manage the products that they're uh, getting from suppliers and selling to customers or reselling to customers in the case of a consumer to consumer channel. Um, just like anywhere else in the supply chain, uh, the unique identification is critically important for identifying cameras. Uh, uh, chewing gum packages, bottles of Gatorade, or even cars. And that, that value of unique identification is not lost on those people trying to sell online. The work that we're doing now to move into the demand chain is, is really a, a natural extension of what we've been doing on the supply chain. Uh, in fact, um, the supply chain work is even more important in, as we move into the digital world. New GS1 digital initiative. One of the projects, in fact, is called G10 Plus on the web, where the G10 is the number under the barcode, as probably most of you know. Uh, and it's a way to embed this unique identifier in web pages around the world, uh, associated with each of the products that, that the identifier is associated with, to allow search engines to better find those products, to better pull together the products that really are the same product, the same G10. Uh, to differentiate those from variations from those uh, those products or other kinds of similar products. Uh, the G10 is one tool that helps online sellers to pull all this stuff together. And GS1's got a new group now called G10 Plus on the web that's working to standardize how we recommend companies do that to really increase the, uh, the, the, the volume of, of, of traffic they get to their websites and ultimately the volume of sales. Well, what, well, I'm really convinced that GS1 has a has a has a, a very important role to play. Um, why? So, one, based on my experience of working in the web world for the last uh, 20 years, um, it's it's really clear the role of unique identification. In fact, unique identification makes the web work itself. It's the your little URL that you see on top of your browser is, is a form of unique identification for that particular web page. The G10. The barcode is, a, is, is a, a, the most prevalent form of unique identification products. You marry the two together and, 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 the, and it's obvious. We, we really want participation in GS1. We need it. And in fact, the people who come and work in GS1 are the leaders in industry. If you want to influence the direction of future standards, whether it's on uh, small extensions to our existing AIDC standards or to really revolutionary extensions of that into the digital world, this is the place to be if you want to have an influence on it. Um, even if you perhaps don't have specific ideas about the direction to go, this is the place to be if you want to make sure you're aligned with what's coming your way.